my nasal cavity because the nail polish fumes whatever today i have a really fun thing that we're going to be doing and i'm going to be showing you my makeup routine i feel like a fool at saying that this is the makeup that i do every couple of months when i want to look presentable and i'm really excited because i stole this mirror from my sister see that ah my nail has a little flashing light as well can you see Look at that! Back to the point. So I'm really excited to do this. But first I need to re-pierce my ears. Because I really want to wear these cute little mini hoops. But I can't because I haven't worn earrings in a very long time. And my ear holes have closed over. So I'm going to re-pierce it with this. Like this is the earring they give you when first pierced. Purple colour because my favourite colour is... I, wait, I got a... No, I'm just texting. I'm back. What was I saying? Yeah, so I can't find the other one of these earrings. And I'm pretty sure it's because I dropped it down the sink. Why is my hand peeling? There we are. Why? Are, why is it just? Why is my hand? Last time that my ears closed over, I literally got my dad to repierce them because I repierced like ten different sections of my ear, and so he had to do it because young and naive and didn't know what I was doing. They say that as though it wasn't a couple. Let me hear about a knee death experience that I had. I was in the shower and I washed my hair because I actually washed my hair. I washed my hair for the first time in a long time. Anyway, I washed my hair, but as I was washing my hair, I was sort of drinking water as well because I was really dehydrated. I had the water in my mouth. It was just like sitting in my mouth. The shampoo in my hair, the water was like coming down. So part of it was going in my eyes. And then I couldn't, I realized that I couldn't breathe because my mouth was full of water and I was full of water and I was full of water and I usually breathe into my mouth because water's like rushing down. And I tried to breathe through my nose, but then as I was breathing through my nose and all the water rushed up because I was washing my hair, a fleeting moment where I couldn't breathe because in the shower my mouth was full of water, my nose was full of water, and my eyes were like filled with shampoo. It was like a movie. It was like the hero in the movie doing something remarkable, no one expects. I just drank the water, taking a bit of the shampoo with it, and then I was able to breathe again and I washed the shampoo out of my eyes and then now I'm here. Moving forward. Also, did I mention that I'm going to be answering some questions? Now, these questions that I'm going to answer, they're literally. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by myself in this mirror because it is so clear. Like, I can see myself. I mentioned that I made. Okay, so I'm answering the questions that I came up with because I don't have any. The first step in my makeup routine is moisturizing. This moisturizer. I have really, really dry skin and I need to apply it multiple times a day because here's the thing we do not want to be looking like alligators. Okay, and make sure that you put it on your neck as well. Don't put it on my neck, like the skin just starts flaking off. I don't really want to be dealing with me to that. Also, it has SPF in it, which I'm pretty sure is sunscreen, or it's like SPF in sunscreen. I don't really know, but it has that in it, meaning protecting me from the sun, because as you can see, if you like look outside, um, it's really sunny. Yeah, one of my daily routines is tanning. There's no sun to tan. And it was raining before, so it wasn't going to turn in the rain because that's kind of stupid and defeats the whole entire purpose. The next step of my routine is eyeliner because now I use this broken ah this broken situation. It's basically like eyeshadow, blush, bronzer, even some like lip gloss, all in one. But I broke it because I'm pretty sure I dropped it on the ground. So we're just going to ignore that. So I use this purple color. This purple is the only color that I use. I used this blue because I did a Goldilocks performance and was supposed to be dead so then we just all used that colour and just like, you know, to make it a nice little purple. And while I do it, I'm going to answer the first question that I made up. What is your relationship status? Sadly single. That was a simile. I should become an English teacher. Okay, I just wanted to say that I know that when words have the same letter at the front of them, it's alliteration. I just, I thought it was funny because, you know, simile starts with an S and then... S, S, S. I know it's alliteration. I just wanted to clear that up just in case. Like, we all have goals for ourselves. A couple weeks ago, I gave myself a goal to go on a date within, like, three weeks. Well, it's coming to the end of the three weeks. Have I gone on a date? No. But here's the thing. <coughs> but here's the thing. Started up friend. Even if someone did ask me, I don't know. I feel like I just have to be the one to ask. I just want to go on one date with someone. It can be a little pretend date. Probably not again. I even have it all planned. My mom helped me come up with this, by the way, because I'm scared of commitment. Go to the movies, then at the end of the movies, if I'm feeling like uncomfortable or whatever, then I can be like, okay, good ball. If I really like it, I can be like, oh, let's go get something to eat. Anyway, that hasn't happened. Forget I'm going to be alone forever. 
but I'm not going to put that negative energy out there in the universe. So we're not going to even bother to say that. It's just so negative. This is reminding me a lot of the one time where it was book week and me and my friends went as Roderick from Diary of a Wimpy. My friend actually put on actual eyeliner, not purple eyeshadow. So that is my relationship status. I also have trust issues. That's not really beneficial, is it? No. Anyway, I'm actually curious. How are you going? What new projects are you working on? Is there anything you're excited about? So we're going to use this makeup. We're going to use this mascara. Um, here's the thing. I just use this to like give it as sort of like a base mascara before I use my actual real mascara that I trust. And we're going to move on to the next question. What is your age? So I'm actually 85 and it is my 113th birthday next. A little wait actually what star sign would that be if i was next friday would that be would, I, would that be cancer yeah. my next question is what is your favorite color my favorite color is purple i think purple is an amazing color there's a bird staring at me oh, wait, hang on i've got a deal situation oh gosh why am i so why, everyone just wants to talk to me like this is the first video I've filmed in a really long time And where is my mascara gone? I've lost my mascara Okay, so this is not funny I've lost my mascara See, this is what happens when people try to talk to me I don't know where my mascara is Which is kind of a mess I'll, I'll be back when I find it and I guess we're not using that mascara anymore this purple one and it is my actual favorite mascara and i would recommend it severely but no we're just gonna have to make do with this expired one you know this is teaching me a lot of life lessons do you know what that song reminds me of my primary schooling days i had to do that song for something oh by the way what i'm doing as you can see because it's expired it's a bit clumpy so we're just taking this thing the same thing that i use my eyeliner for and we're like I didn't even touch my eyes when I said out. A lot of the pain that I go through, it's mental. Like for example, I fell over a netball and I just didn't look at my knee and I was feeling no pain at all. I'm like, okay, that didn't hurt. And then I looked down and then I saw all the blood gushing down and I could see like the white part and I started feeling sick and then I started hurting. Um, obviously I think some pain is not, but I think and then they couldn't find the first aid kit. So I was just sitting on the ground with like a bleeding leg. I really can't find them. Where did they go? It can't. I literally. Where are moving on? My next step. Oh, this is messing me up. I need. It's okay. It is okay. Okay. The next question is my favorite animal. So my favorite animal is a lemur. I think lemurs are so cute, and I think part of it is because I watched Madagascar and I love chameleon. So I have someone to show you. I showed him in one of my other videos, but I'm going to show him to again. His name is Vincent. Vincent the lemur. Okay, Am I literally blind or is it just not there? <laughs> okay, I almost just took myself out with a bathrobe. I think I'm fine now. I think I think I'm fine now. Um, see, Vincent is making fine. I'm gonna put him there and then I can do my makeup. But actually, I'm sorry, Vincent, but your eyes scam me a little. Moving on to my next step, which I'd say is going to be blush. No, my thing wasn't even opening. This video is just going fabulously. Anyway, so I'm using the same situation, this blush color. It is very nice. I don't have any brushes because I don't wear makeup enough. So if I bought a brush, it'd be a waste of money because I'd use it a total of four times in its entire life. And I just, I don't want to be spending money on useless things. I feel like being vulnerable is something really important. So I'm going to be vulnerable and tell you what my biggest fear is. I actually have a couple of biggest fears. I used to think my biggest fear was living alone and then I realized that is simply not the case. My first biggest fear, I'm gonna get attacked for this, but I'm saying this because hopefully if someone out there can resonate with me is birds. I'm really even kidding. I'm terrified of birds. So do not even think about it. Like, I don't think you understand. My phone just stopped recording. And it was, I, yeah, I'm, I was, I'm scared of birds. And I don't actually know where this fear came from, but I think maybe it's part of because my dad used to call them flying rats with big teeth. And then I was watching Madagascar, and then there was a scene where Alex like punches the bird's nest and all of them attacking me like, in their mouth. And this is for setting me up. This is for stealing my dad's job. This is 
just for humiliating my family and making me feel like a fool! That's where part of it stemmed from. Anyway, my other fear is, and if someone has this, I move away very fast because I can't. I just can't deal with it. See, okay, that that just looks so blank. I used to have this Twilight pic collage printout thing that I had hanging over my wall over, wall over there, but it fell down in the middle of the night and I don't know where it is. I'm really sad, but if I had, I'd put it up there. Anyway, moving on to my, the rest of my makeup routine. What do I gotta do now? Move on to some highlighter. And then, while I am doing this highlighter, I'm going to talk to you about my pet peeves. So, I have one major pet peeve, and that is when I tell someone about myself, and they tell me that I'm wrong. Like, no thank you, Patricia. That's really irritating, but that is just something we just have to deal with, those people. Anyway, then I saw a quote. And it was like, don't let someone who hasn't been in your shoes tell you how to tie your laces. And I was like, you know what? Yes. I'm pretty sure the quote was meant for much deeper things than someone telling me that I'm wrong about myself. I think that the next major question that we need to talk about is something really basic. Why did you start your YouTube? Like, I started this because... I don't know why I started it. I think it was just because I was like, I want to be a YouTuber. May as well start now. When I'm 80, I'm not like... Oh, I should have started a YouTube channel because I'm a procrastinator. A procrastinator, like most people. You are procrastinators. What does that mean? Procrastinator. It describes a person who sits on a sandwich in the dark. None of you will ever understand how much you mean to me. Needed a little push. I got my push. Now we're here. I think the meanest comment I've ever gotten, ever, was someone asking me, what is the point of this? What is the point of it? What is the point of everything? And then I was having an existential crisis until... I sort of snapped myself back into reality. I'm really mad about this one. Like, I don't know. My next question is, what is my favorite show? I've mentioned this before. My favorite show is Antiques Roadshow. Something so relaxing about watching it. I just don't think anything else will be able to compare. Look at my hands. And this is a, this is a, this is the final question, and it is asking me. Okay, put the highlighter on. I don't think I did. Oh, okay. I just put too much on. Maybe I should do bronzer. I don't even know what bronzer is. Someone tell me what bronzer is. Where is that little mangy bronzer? We'll go with this color. How do you even... It's origin tonight. I just realized that. If you are a Queensland supporter, how do we feel bad when Daily Terry Evans was crying? Okay, you won for like 10 years in a row. I kind of feel like it's nice that they might... Queensland might win. Moving on to lips. Red lipstick. We just sort of blot it a little bit. Yeah, see how nice this is. Not too much because we just want it to be natural. And then, where is... Where is my lip gloss? Guys, I found my mascara. Guys, I found the mascara. I told you I was going to find the mascara. It was just sitting... It was sitting in my makeup bag. But I, I put it there. What was it? I'm so confused. See, stuff always goes missing from my selection and then it just reappears. I want to show you some jeans because I had one video where I showed you my jeans that I got. But it's just never aired because it just doesn't want to save. Does it? No. Anyway, my last question. I'm going to answer my last question. This one I got from Pinterest and I think it's a really juicy question. It's the last person you texted. Um, the last person I texted was my mom because I deleted Instagram. Put on my own, that's the way you were. If I get like a couple more of you guys, then I think I might start. I think I might re-download Instagram and then make like a separate account. Same as TikTok. I might do that for you guys as well. These are the jeans. Okay, this is really not funny. You know how I said my mascara was missing? Well, now my phone's missing and that's what I use to record things. I left it there, then I... Let me really quickly show you my jeans before then they go missing as well and I have to wear pajama pants. But they have these really cute little rips in them.